Canada and the U.S. in the same group, Group A. And we are joined now by Team USA superstar Hillary Knight and Mary Kay Messier, the VP of Global Marketing at Bauer. Ladies, first of all, thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate the time uh, to chat with you about this tournament, which kicks off in just a week's time. Uh, Hillary, I imagine it never really gets old uh, getting ready for this tournament. How do you prepare and what are you most excited about as you get set uh, for yet another world championship? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm currently sitting in a hotel because we're in the middle of uh, Team USA tryouts right now. Um, so preparation is is uh, extremely intense because we want the best team to move forward on behalf of the United States and represent us on the world stage. Um, we know it's a great tournament. Our pool is extremely competitive once we get there. So trying to make sure that we're checking every single box of things that we can control on our way there. All right. So tryouts underway. You think you're you think you're going to make it? You never know. You never know, right? It's, uh, you know, whatever puts this team in the best position to win is, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want the most competitive team to represent your country. So, uh, you know, tryouts are definitely trying at, at times, but uh, I think it goes to say that I think it, it could potentially be like my 13th world championship, wow. but uh, everyone feels like the first. Well, spoken like a true leader, uh, I think it's safe to say you're probably a lock. Uh, you know, Mary Kay, I want to ask you about Bauer. You know, Bauer has been a leading voice in the women's game. You know, why is it important to Bauer to be a part of pushing the women's game forward? Well, first, I wanted to say spoken like a true icon. <laughs> Hillary, one of the greatest uh, players in the game, and, and she's humble enough to uh, wonder whether she's going to be on the roster. So it just goes to show you the the women that are leading the sport, the best players in the world. So for for Bauer, obviously, uh, we believe in everything that the sport has to offer, the opportunity to build uh, life skills, to teach life lessons, to build character, to develop lifelong friendships. So because of that, we believe that girls deserve all these opportunities uh, in the same way that boys do. It, it's really, it starts with the right thing to do. Uh, for all these reasons, uh, you know, if you think about what consumers are interested in today, they want to align with brands that share their values. And it isn't just mothers and daughters and sisters that want to see these opportunities for, for girls. It's it's people all over the world. So uh, in, on top of it being the right thing to do, it's the right business decision. Uh, it's a way to connect with consumers. Girls represent growth in the support. And uh, I think a sport with more girls and women is, is a better game. So for all those reasons, Bauer is very committed to driving equity in the sport. I like that line, too, in the in the commercial there. The women's movement uh, never stops. My next question is for both of you. Uh, Hillary, I'll, I'll start with you on this one. And then Mary Kay, feel free to jump in when, she, when Hillary gives her thoughts. Uh, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about the state of women's hockey right now and the direction that it's headed? Um, I'm extremely excited, uh, encouraged by all the, these young rising stars that are coming up through the ranks. I mean, the amount of skill, the dynamic style player, we're just seeing another level of player that's coming up. Um, so this, the future of the game is extremely bright. And when we figure out the professional piece, it's going to be brighter um, to make sure that we're developing all the way from the grassroots level, to the national team level, and also the professional level. So we're missing that critical piece, but I'm really confident in, in our group and in what we've done with the PWHPA to really fill that void and uh, create a better, better future for all. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, it's so great to see where the women's game is today, the best players in the world, and we're seeing so much progress. Uh, the type of uh, exposure that they deserve, the record-setting audiences coming off the rivalry series, there's so much to celebrate, the progress in the support, women in leadership and support roles. Um, but at the same time, I think it's a key inflection point. It's also a time to acknowledge that in spite of all this progress, there's a lot of work to be done to continue to drive equity in hockey. I think you make a, an amazing point, and it leads me right into my next question. As far as, as the women's game has come, you know, what do you think needs to happen to really help drive meaningful change, to get to a point where we have a sustainable, professional women's league? And, and, and I'd love both of your thoughts on this one as well. Hillary, let's start with you. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a shared responsibility, right? You want to make sure that the product um, is also met with the the appropriate brand and uh, mission partnerships, and you know having Bauer as a as an industry leader, um, having them involved to continue to fight and push for 
championing women's ice hockey, uh, making sure that we're increasing visibility on all fronts, but also investing in that invis visibility. And uh, Mary Kay said this perfectly before. It's not only the right thing to do, it's the smart business sense thing to do. And I think that just speaks volumes coming from an industry leader such as Bauer and, and their involvement so far. Yeah, that, that's a great tee up. I, I think as brands, we have a responsibility to invest in women's sports. The corporate community and leaders need to come together uh, and the products there. Uh, the sport is incredibly entertaining. These are some of the best sport ambassadors in the world. So it's an easy decision. It's what consumers want. It's what we need to do. We're seeing a lot of progress, but I think we need to do more. As brands, we can inspire each other to work together because we know there is power in the collective. So around the women's world, you'll see Bauer everywhere. Our goal is to really celebrate the best women in the world, uh, the best athletes in the world, to bring the fan experience to another level. So we'll be uh, you know, on broadcast, we'll be at all the games, we'll be activating, we'll be elevating that fan experience and at the grassroots level, bringing girls in, we wanna inspire the next generation. And we couldn't be more excited about the opportunity to uh, you know, really celebrate the women around this incredible platform of the world, Women's Worlds Championship. And I think both of you make such a strong, solid point about it being a collective effort, right? And as someone that grew up in Canada and played hockey and idolized the likes of like Cassie Campbell and Haley Wickenheiser, like it really has come such a long way. And I appreciate everything that both of you are doing uh, for the game to help push the women's game to the forefront. But I do think, you know, it takes players, it takes brands like Bauer, it takes the media, it takes people at the grassroots level doing things. It takes the men's game, you know, showing uh, appreciation and respect to what the women do um, as well. And it feels like we are starting to get that from all of those different places. Um, so I appreciate both of you guys coming on to share the insight. I'm super excited about this world championship next week. Again, we're going to have all of Team USA's games right here on NHL Network. Hillary, what is it going to take to beat uh, to beat Team Canada this year? I mean, what did you take away from the rivalry series? What's the game plan so I can go try to, like, give it to them? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I think the rivalry series was a, a perfect snippet of what you'll see between these two world dominating um, teams. And if anything, I think, you know, Team USA is in a great spot. Uh, we just need to stick to our game plan and continue to, to work on the things that we're good at and also push the envelope in things that we are not so good at. And, um, you know, I'm confident that we have enough time here and we're going to assemble the best group to really take the stage and represent our country. But I'm really excited. I mean, you've you've never seen this level of uh, competition, this this type of speed, this type of skill in the game before. So World Championships is an outstanding platform for all these young women to perform and and hopefully uh, bring back some hardware. And it's always can't miss as well. Like it, the, it, the entertainment value of the games alone is always off the wall. So uh, as a hockey fan, totally. I appreciate it. I cannot wait to get to it next week. The Women's World Championships right here on NHL Network presented by Bauer.